Hello, I'm Chief Superintendent Phil Dolby and I'm the Tactical Commander for Operation Pelkin 2022, which is the multi-agency operation and the protective security operation around the Conservative Party Conference at the ICC. This is the first time we've been able to run this event since the 2018 conference because of the pandemic in 2020 meant that we had to cancel that conference. So we're delighted to be back um, running this operation with all of our partners and also building on the the excellent experience that we all had for the Commonwealth Games, where again we work with our partners to keep the city safe. This is a significant and complex operation and there will be over 12,000 delegates and visitors coming to the conference during that time. So as well as Westminster's Police being involved, similarly to what you will have seen during the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, we'll also be joined and supported by police officers from around the wider police family in the, across the UK. So why not say hello to them when you see them? Because of the protective security operation that we need to put into the protecting the conference, there will be some road closures in the area, but quite concentrated in the area of the ICC and Broad Street and the Hyatt Hotel. So we just encourage you to look ahead and plan ahead for your journey during the times of the conference. Similar to every party political conference, members of the public may feel that they wish to engage in lawful protest. And that's absolutely fine and we're prepared for that. And we have a duty to facilitate protest as long as it's lawful. We also would ask the public to be vigilant because this is the government of the day and so that's why we have a security operation around it. So if you are in the, in the vicinity and you see or hear anything that worries you or you think is out of place or suspicious, we really would encourage you and be grateful if you would contact us so we could look into it a bit more. We also want to keep the public informed about how we're getting on through this operation. So I'd encourage you all to log on to Twitter and follow at Brum Police. That's B-R-U-M, at Brum Police, where we'll keep you updated. Thank you.